Muhammad Umar Farooq Biological Video Please make sure to subscribe, like and share. Ask the question for answer and comment about the artwork. And some interesting questions. So in this video we will we'll, we will talk about the Spirogyra. That is the uh, algae and freshwater algae. And that is the chlorophyta because the chlorophyll is present in, uh, for the light using to convert um, sugar. That is the autotrophs because they uh, make food itself so a spirogyra is the algae, uh, algae uh, living in fresh water so there the uh, classification is the basically um, a division is chlorophyta class chlorophyce and family uh, zynemaci and genus is spirogyra that spirogyra is very um, uh, filament like structure that is a thread like structure and 300 species free floating spirogyra adnate are attached but another is uh, not attached with that free floating but spirogyra adnate adnata that is spirogyra uh, sorry adnata are attached to the uh, substratum the uh, that is the through a through a basal rhizoidal cell there is a basal rhizoidal cells are present which that is used for the attachment and it is also known as water silk or pond scum so uh, basically its favorable environment is spring season is favorable so that is the um, overview about the spirogyra now we will talk about the morphology and structure of the cells of the filament of spirogyra so here i draw a structure of the spirogyral cell here is a spirogyral cell that is the septum is present in every cell that is every cell is made up of cell wall and there's the outer layer is kind of composed of the cell wall and inner is the cytoplasm so uh, there is a plasma membrane is present and here is the cell wall and here is, here is the nucleus which that are present and that interconnected with the cell wall is known as cytoplasmic strand and there is a here is the spiral chloroplast is present is here there is a spiral chloroplast is uh, is attached with the pyrenoids that the pyrenoid is the storage of the um, lipid and carbohydrate so here is the cytoplasmic strand is present is here and there here is the mm, distance from cell to cell is known as node and there between the cell is known as internode so here is the cell which contain a ribbon like structure is known as um, basically um, spiral uh, structure is known as the uh, chloroplast in the form of spiral structure that is present is here and here is the septum is present which that is um, separate the uh, two cell so that the same single nucleus are present and that is why it is known as eukaryote cell that is eukaryotic due to the nucleus is present and prokaryotes that plant which that is uh, not true, nu true nucleus and lack of nucleus so here is the thread like filamentous a structure which that multinucleate eukaryote that is the filament basically which that is freely floating just like our hair so here is the vegetative structure we will discuss about the vegetative structure that the vegetative structure is basically shown in the figure which that is the vegetative because uh, vegetative reproduction is due to the de uh, fragmentation uh, which that detachment of long filament convert into short segment and that short segment will be again grow so here the growth is due to the cell division now we will talk about the reproduction we have a discuss we have discussed about the uh, veget uh, vegetative reproduction now we will discuss about the reproduction that's the reproduction is mostly vegetative and sexual some are asexual reproduction is also under the studied so now we will talk about the first of all sexual reproduction so the sexual reproduction is uh, due to the two types sclerary form conjugation 
and lateral conjugation now we will talk about the um, uh, which that is the isogamous isogamous mean both gametes are same too and their size is same the structure is same and their shape is same so now we will talk about the first of all the conjugation uh, which that is the important for the sexual reproduction so here is the um, spiral um, chloroplast which that are present and nucleus in each cell contain one nucleus so here is the filament a and filament b that's the filament a and filament b um, the two filaments combine together close together and produce like this structure and there's the gametes are too much gametes are present due to the result of cell division that's the gametes due to the filament basically is haploid haploid mean and um, chromosome is half for example so there's a haploid um, filament will be gamete and there's the production of gamete that is a gam uh, um, basically here is the phase phase one we will discuss about here the conjugation tube development process so here is the conjugation tube will be developed that process is um, further uh, proceed and there's the phase two uh, will begin and there are the too much gametes uh, no uh, we have taken the um, basically one gamete so here is the we will discuss about that so there is the um, um, conjugation tube will be more grow and there are the attachment to conjugation conjugation conjugating tube attachment is known as fusion when fused together and that's produced the um, open both conjugation tube in the single conjugation tube that is the open way and that is known as the open conjugation tube that is the two gametes one gametes can move uh, one side to another cell and that is one gamete remain stationary so here is a one gamete remain stationary and the other is the motile then some motile gametes will move from here to here then two gametes unite together and the uni uh, union of two gametes to become a one n haploid to diploid that is the one n number of chromosome a number of chromosome that's convert into double number of chromosome is known as two n that is diploid and that's the phase uh, four will become a too much zygospore production that is a zygospore is 2n right have you clear no next we will discuss about the zygospore uh, and how will be um, produced and there is the alternation of generation will begin so here the zygospore is divide to and uh, four um, four basically four uh, spores that is the four cells and there's a four cells will be ultimately uh, one zygospore will uh, remain three is useless and um, a denaturation denaturation of the um, zygospores uh, three and one is remain to under activate and there the uh, remain under activation of one zygospore will be favorable condition to grow so the radical uh, is uh, spore will be zygospore will be become a radical due to the loss of chloroplast a uh, loss of chlorophyll so that's a green color is not shown and again will be uh, reproduced uh, in the favorable environment into the water so remember it that is all activities occur into the water that is fresh water that is the favorable condition is during spring season so as the germination will be occur and septum will be in, uh, increase and the growth is increase and further cell division will become a large filament just a parental filament so here the nucleus and spiral chloroplast is present and that's the young filament will become a uh, same as like basically same just like a parental so here is the scleri form conjugation that is the sexual reproduction which that is a scleri form conjugation because two filaments involved 
right now we will talk about the lateral conjugation that the lateral conjugation is involves single filament so single filament mean two cells are um, contact together so here is the between the same filament between the two cells the conjugation tube will be developed and this conjugation tube will be development of the conjugation tube that the gamete will move into the uh, from one cell to another cell by a conjugation tube and that zygospore will be occur that the a filament and that convert into same a that is i show into the figure uh, in the form of a prime so a is the lateral conjugation the conjugation means the two filaments uh, are same filaments the two cells uh, contact together to interchanging of the gametes to reproduce and their reproduction is genetically recombinant due to the two cells involved involving two cells so here the same zygospore will become begin for as like scleriform conjugation result so now we will talk about the cross section of the cell of the spirogyra that is the cross section of the a filament we uh, basically we will take a cross section of the cell of the spirogyra here so that is the basically um, uh, i will uh, show you uh, there is the spirogyra that is contain chloroplast that spiral and here is the spirogyra filament so clear so we will talk about the here is the cell which that is the spirogyra which a uh, ribbon like structure or uh, spiral uh, chloroplast is present and here the outer layer is known as cell wall and inner side is the i show into the red color it shows that the cyto uh, basic cell membrane and inside the cell membrane is cytoplasm and nucleus and here is the nucleus uh, which that is the basically contain nucleolus and there's uh, outer projection is known as here is a cytoplasmic strand which that is interconnected with a cell membrane and nucleus so that here is the chloroplast and amazing thing that is i want to show that the here is the um, slimy slimy structure which that is covered by the cell this filament is known as pectic material that's a pectic material uh, which that is covered by these cells and that's pectic material is used for the attachment due uh, in the uh, from the rhizoid that's the attachment of the substratum uh, by pectic material conversion of the pectic material into the mucilage material that's a mucilage content so pectic material and mucilage material we will discuss in the biochemistry in another video so because uh, it's going on the um, uh, spirogyra um, introduction so that is important to understand so here is a chloroplast which that is the spiral no hydra uh, structure of chloroplast is here that is the contain thylakoid and thylakoid membrane that's a thylakoid membrane contain very special pigment is known as chlorophyll that is the chlorophyll is uh, made up of magnesium uh, central unit uh, magnesium element and that's absorb the light uh, that's light absorption is so that is why it is called autotrophs because it's prepare food itself so it's mean the light will be absorbed by a uh, uh, and carbon dioxide absorb and in the presence of water that's produce sugar and oxygen so that's mean 98 percent uh, or 90 percent or oh, sorry na not 98 percent 80 to 90 percent oxygen will be arise from the algae so that is algae it is algae valve box is algae so it is involved in this process so sugar and oxygen will be produced so thanks for watching please subscribe